Hi, this is Julie Becker at IGetPaidOnline.biz, and I'm here today with the topic of using a decision-making process to get success. Decisions are really important because your life is the sum of the choices and decisions that you have made. Some people don't like to believe that. Life gets in the way, and this happened, and oh my gosh, last year it was such as this happened, and that was such a crazy mess, and Yes, that, 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 that stuff does happen. It has happened to me. It happens to everyone. What matters is in light of life happening to you, you always have a decision that you can make every single time. And the decisions that you make are what uh, puts you on your path to where you are. So whether or not you believe that, that is the truth. That is the truth. Where you're at today is a sum of, of your decisions and your decision making, and that's where, where you've gotten to where you are today. So if you want to uh, get on a different path, and if you're looking for a way to make better decisions and you need a decision making process, well, let's get to it, okay? I used to be an engineer, so um, this is fun for me. I like to, I'm, I'm a good decision maker, a quick decision maker, you know, although I have, you know what, I've made not so good decisions in my past too, so. Uh, you know, I've learned, but um, I will tell you, I, I went from that and I wanted to uh, still work and, and uh, provide for my family, but I didn't want to be away from my children, so I made a decision to get into network marketing. And at that point in time, um, I did that for a while, successful at that, and my husband's get, business got real successful. I was traveling a lot and it was hard for me to get out, so then I had to make an, another decision. Um, and I decided to look at creating an online business. So the first step in a decision-making process, right? There, there's there's seven steps here. The first step is to identify that the decision needs to be made. So what did I do? I'd have, I identified in my life that a decision, uh, I was at a point where something needed to change, so I did identify that a decision needed to be made. The second step is to gather information, okay? Whatever decision that you're looking at or whatever kind of changes you're looking to make in your life, you need to gather information. Do your due diligence. And what I did is I looked at different online businesses and I looked at how they did business and I looked at the leaders of those. If you want to be a champion, but go one step further, not just champions, but those who are going to bring out the champion within you. Find givers, find people who are, who are really successful at what they do, and not only model them, because we've all heard to, you know, follow successful people and model what they do, and that is very true, but, but, but look for those who are going to bring out the inner champion in you and uh, give you the information and tools that you need to know. So gather your information, and I did that. And then the third step after, after that is identifying your alternatives. So you're identifying... You know, all right, I could go this path, this path, or this path. So you've got your alternatives laid out in front of you. Then the next thing you want to do is weigh the evidence, okay? Look at all the, look at the alternatives that you put in front of yourself and weigh the evidence. You know, if you, if you can get your hands on that, again, do your due diligence. When I looked at these companies, I looked at, you know, how long they were in business. What's the ease of starting up? How much is the startup cost going to be? What's the overhead? What's the learning curve? Um, what are the average incomes of people that are working in this business? And I, I looked at, at quite a few of them um, before I settled. And uh, so, okay, so you're weighing the evidence. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make, you want to choose. You have the different alternatives in front of you, and you want to make a choice, okay? And do that based on the evidence, okay? I know a lot of people like to, well, they not like to, but they tend to make decisions based on emotions, and a lot of times you're making decisions out of guilt emotions or scarcity emotions or fear. And that is, should never be a precursor or, or a reason to make a decision. Certainly use emotion if, if you are making decisions and, and hope plays into it. Inspiration plays into it. Something that hits your inner cord and uh, what you're about. You know, those emotions um, can figure into the, the, the decision-making process, but, you know, if it's anything that's fear-based, uh, then, you know, you need to take that out of the equation. That's why you need to have a process. Okay, so you you have your alternative to choose from. Now, you need to take action. 
because it's one thing to have decided in your head what you're going to do, but it's another thing altogether. It doesn't become real until you take an action, until you decide and you take an action. Now you've truly made a decision because you've taken a step. You've started some momentum. You can't go from point A to point B unless you take an action. Okay, Thinking about it isn't going to make it happen. And then the final final the part of your de- piece of your decision-making process is to review your decision and to see whether it was a good choice. Now, for me, I use this decision-making process to decide about getting into an online business. And the online business I ended up uh, getting involved with is a company called Empower Network. And uh, it's the decision has changed my life. But I went through the entire process. Um, I looked at um, the information. I looked at the leaders. These are some of the most influential people uh, that you will ever meet. They are absolutely top caliber uh, in the industry and um, just amazing leaders. They speak life and success into people. Uh, So that was really important to me in finding great leaders to learn from and those who challenged me to raise my bar and my standards that I can be the champion that I am. And... The next thing that I did was weigh the evidence. Now, this company, uh, in in a year and a half, went from zero to about 130,000 affiliates. Incredible, huge, ridiculous growth. They've paid out over $40 million in commissions, and they are huge. They are one of the most heavily trafficked websites in the world, global. It's a global business. Um, So that speaks volumes to me. You know, I know some people will look at startups, and again, that can be... Um, something iffy to look at, but now they've been in business for um, two years now, just almost two years, and they are just exploding, and it is a a success platform. It works, people are duplicating, and it has absolutely been a huge success. Uh, And then, you know, I weighed the evidence. I looked at a couple of other companies, too, and and then I, I chose my alternatives, and I took action. I got involved not only just got involved, I mean, I went all in my whole skin in the game because, you know, if you're going to come to the game and you're going to show up to play, then play big because the world doesn't need any more small, small, small people playing small. You know, you have gifts and talents and you need to um, give those out to the world and give those out to people. So this process is what I use to do, to decide about building a business with Empower Network. It absolutely has changed my life. I have a very successful online business now, which is growing every single day. Uh, it was easy to get involved. It's easy for me to work from home around my children, around my family, uh, and part-time, and to build an income doing that. It is scalable. So, you know, once you uh, learn how to do it, it's, it's absolutely scalable. And uh, the leaders in the, this industry, they teach people how to do that, and I teach my team how to do that also. So... I hope this has been a uh, good information session for you on on choosing a decision-making process and using a decision-making process to have successes in your life, whether it be personal, financial, spiritual, whatever it is. Use this decision-making process and you will have success. Peace out. Have a great day and I will hopefully see more of you.